Well folks, I'm devastated. Been down to see the, uh, went down to the uh, wrestling ring, farm it, brilliant. Except for the farmer that I asked permission to go on his, on that uh, area, it was the uh, uh, farmer's lad. Now the lad had said yes, great. So when I went down to confirm that I was all right to do it today, because it's not raining, etc, etc. The grass has come off, he's got a few sheep on there. Uh, it was the old fella, his old fella that I seen, and he's not, he doesn't want uh, detectors on his land, which is fair enough, it is fair enough, I mean, I, I can't blame him really, do you know what I mean, you're digging holes and stuff, I try to explain that, you know, all the holes get filled in, all the usual, the gates get closed, we look after stuff and everything, got insurance, NCMD insurance, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah but, he wasn't having any of it, but he's a nice fella, all the same, he was a really nice fella, and, you know, he was alright, so, but, he doesn't look as though he has, to mind you though, farmers live for about a thousand years, don't they? But, he, you know, he might not be around for a long time, so, and the lad had already said yes, so if I go down, you know, and catch him at the right time, he might be allowed on there, but I have a sneaky suspicion that will be a good area, I've seen, I've seen the field, oh my god, oh, itching again on it, itching! But all is not lost, because not too far away there is another sports field. But there has been metal detectors on it, I've had a word with the farmer. I've been on it myself before a long time in the past with the whites, but I'm going to try the e-track on it. But this is uh, the Flan Sports, right? And, and they call it the Flan Sports Fields, it's not hard to find. And uh, yeah, it's the, there'll be stuff here, but it's going to take some bloody finding, because I know there's been... <laughs> You know, Flan Sports Field, every detector is from here to bloody Manchester's probably been on it. But I'm not bothered, it's a day out. And I'm going to meet another lad later, a lad called Mark, and we're going to go on there, yeah, <coughs> Hammered Field, because he's uh, he wants a day out, so I said I'd meet him about half past three. So I'm going to give this a couple of hours, and if I find anything, I'll show you. But <laughs> it's, I don't think it's looking too good. But I'll tell you what, look at this for scenery. Look at this for the scenery. Do you know what I mean? You can understand why they had the sports and that here. Right, obviously this isn't the actual field, but what they used to do, they used to run down from the field, across there, then they used to go up to the top of that hill over there, across the peak, back down, into this bottom, through this field, and then back up to the sports field. And that was for the uh, fell racing brilliant but look at this this scenery is absolutely gorgeous and the weather don't look too bad don't know if it's gonna rain or not it might do might be the odd shower but again I'm not bothered I'm getting out with a detector I haven't been out for ages I've been getting a bit of cabin fever <laughs> there's a lot of probably there's a lot of probably notice I've been uh, up to my little mischief as I call it but all in good fun anyway this is where I am just outside of Ulverston very nice area so folks I'll catch you later and hopefully with a find or two just come in the field see you later guys come from the gate and I've found an apney so people have missed stuff people have missed stuff it's not a very old one though I must admit Elizabeth not a very old one at all but that's where the old was and that's where the gate is so I could still be finding stuff. This is where they held the elder sports. There's supposed to be a cinder track on here somewhere, so that'll be full of coke. So it should give this a little bit of a good run out. Well, there you go. First, uh, what, five minutes and a coin. Okay, folks, catch you later. I've uh, travelled from there to here and I've got a nice little buckle. And isn't that a nice little buckle? About five, six inch deep. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll tell you what, I do like this machine. Right, I do like this machine, definitely. There's been a few people on here with other machines the farmer said, and they've been coming for years. Like, like I say, look at that. Nice little buckle and a nice clear signal. Here we go again. Okay, signing off for now. Show you another as soon as I can. I think I've got me another coin ball, guys. And... What is it? It's not silver, but it is. Is that Edward? Is it? 
Is that Edward? Do we see a can't see a deer on there. Maybe you guys can see one. Not, not a clue what it is. As in date. But it's another coin. Not too deep and I know that it's been missed. Just walked from the gate there, had a few other bits and bobs, but nothing of any significance. A few bits of uh, like copper, I think that's the back of a watch. I think that's the back of a watch. That there, not sure. And a little badge. But like I say, I'm not expecting great things, to tell you the truth. But I am finding stuff, so I am happy. Okay, folks. So I think these uh, these spots that we're going on here, we're going on from about doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, about late sixties, I think. Late sixties, from uh, all accounts, from what I've read, anyway. But I'll uh, I'll show you a few details on the flying spots uh, event. I should have brought me dead cow up here, I think, because it, it is windy. And I can't. Okay, bloody wind. Right, anyway, on to the next. Catch you later, folks. Another one, folks. And that was pretty deep, that one. So they're still here. Haven't a clue what it is. Can't make anything out on it. Doesn't look that old, though, to tell you the truth. Georgian, Victorian, something like that. I'm going to have to go and get my dead cat, I think, because this wind is kicking up. It stink the moment and I know you can definitely hear it all right folks on to the next again for the wind I still haven't managed to get back to the uh, my bag but I've just found another I think but if you look see the slight curve on it this could be a button I'm not too sure like but I don't know I don't know but it's another item of semi interest Again, sorry about the wind, folks. So, on to the next. Give me way back to the bag, and I've just hit another signal. Travelled about three feet, and I think I've got a coin ball. But, you know what my coin balls are like? Pretty goddamn crap. Hey, up. Oh. It's a oh, what? Oh, looks like a small coin. Oh no, it's a button. It's a button. Not bad though. Something else has been missed. Quite deep as well, really. Quite deep. So, yep, another target. Another item claimed history yet again saved in the form of a button. Oh, on to the next. Cheers, guys. Guys, doesn't look as though I'm going to get to this flaming bag. Got another coin ball here, I think. I don't think it's a coin no. Always oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go again. What have we got now? What is that? A shilling. Not silver, but nonetheless a shilling. Who's this one? Who is this one? Another Elizabeth, I think. Looks like it. I think it's a shilling. It's a shilling. Not sure people will tell me. Yeah, it's a shilling. Gotta be a shilling. And body. And I'm trying to get to my flaming bag. Which is down by that wall over there. Try to get down there so I can sort this flaming wind out. But another shilling and another signal. It's a good little area up here. People, I don't think people have done on the top of here. Can't have done. Getting quite a bit on here now. Right, till the next, folks. Okay, folks, another one. And this has to be my record for depth. Right, look how deep that bugger was. That's got to be my record. I don't know how deep that is, but uh, I know from the bottom, bottom of this spade to from the bottom of there to the top of there is roughly seven and a half to eight inch. And that 
it's well bloody deep. But there's another one and I'm still no nearer to my back. I'm trying my hardest to get down there so I can sort this flaming microphone. I need a the, the dead cat. I need it. So there we go folks. Knackered all that penny. But it's another coin and it just shows that there is still stuff in here. There might be any odd silver coins still left in here, you know. I don't I don't think, I'm not positive, but I don't think there'll be any chance of a hammered. But there is the chance of other silver. Okay folks, on to the next. Folks, got the dead cow on now, so the wind shouldn't be a problem. I've uh, just zoomed down there and uh, I found a, I don't know, a bit of a ooh, thingy. I was only stopping at uh, good signals from then on, but I don't really see that, not a clue what that is. Give off quite a nice signal though. Might be bronze, could be raw iron. I don't think it is though, I don't know what it is. But, not bothered. Anyway, right, the settings I'm using today on the E-Track are Tony Hunt's. I put Tony Hunt's settings in and they're doing wonders around here. And I've, I've, instead of having it in multi-tone, I've got it in two-tone. Two-tone ferrous, right? So, what I'm going to do, what I have been doing, I, I haven't really been going as slow as I normally go. Because I'm only here for a couple of hours, I thought, and how long have I been here now? I've been here just over three quarters of an hour, right, so I'm trying to find little hot spots if I can, so I'm running, like, zooming around a little bit faster than normal, not like running, but if I get a little hot spot, I'll stay in that little area, and so far, I've managed to find uh, one or two, one or two, don't forget other people have been here again, other people have been here again, I'm not saying these have been massively deep, but you don't know how other people detect, they could be running around, Mind you, I've been running around, but have a look. Right, I'll just show you these. See what you think. Not brilliant by a long shot. Not me, uh, definitely not some of my better ones. No hammered, but that's expected to tell you the truth. Because I don't think he's ever ploughed this field, and for its location, I don't know, it's a bit far away. You know, I found a nice little buckle, a few bits of foil, a shilling. Uh, two two bob bit, two shilling, two shillings, threepenny bit, threepenny bit. God, Jesus Christ! Bit of lead. Uh, uh, cut a button, I think. Is that one gone? Got a button in the there somewhere. And yeah, so that's it for the time being. But I'm quite happy with that, to tell you the truth. And the reason for that is because this has been done before. This has been done before, and I know I've been on it with the whites a long time ago. I was on it, say about four or five years ago, I've come on here. I don't think there'd be much left, tell you the truth, because like every, every, this is a common knowledge, this field. It really is common knowledge, everybody comes here. But it just shows things are missed. Things are missed. Never ever believe when someone says, so if anybody ever tells you, oh yeah, that's it's a, it's a nice place, good place, like, but the thing is, though, there's been every man and his dog, it's been done to death, there isn't anything left there anymore. Or I've been over it with this super duper machine and it's rubbish, absolute rubbish. There's stuff still in these fields. And don't forget, every time, if you're on a plough field, every time next season when you plough it, it's like you're starting afresh. You know what I mean? So there you go. Anyway, that's for me rabbiting on again. I'll tell you what, over there, I'll just uh, have you a walk over. I've spotted something that I didn't, I've never seen it before, but it's on his land. And I'm going to be having a word with the farmer because I do believe I need to be around that building. I think it's an old barn. I think. By the look of it, it is a barn, but it's a building. And where there's buildings, there's always been people. Yeah, it looks interesting. It's very interesting. Look at that for a view. What a cracking view from up here. You see the uh, Ulverston Viaduct just down there, right in the centre. That's Ulverston Viaduct. It takes you over to. That goes over towards Cark. Cark and Cartmel, that area. Yeah, another good. That's another good area. Cark and Carmel. Some some really nice stuff being found over there. Gents, if you had everything this area. 
area. Look at yourself down there. Farms are alright, I know actually. There's Alpines. That'd be a good area. I know there's been a couple of bits of Bronze Age stuff found around there. So you never know, might be in with a chance round here. Might be a bit of Bronze Age in one of these fields. Yeah, but I'd like to get round that. Definitely like to get round that over there. And as you can see, they're cutting the grass now, which is excellent. Cutting the grass all over the place, thank goodness. Still a bit cheesed off like, about not being able to get on Mate Boy's land, but where the wrestling ring is. But I'm not that bothered now. Do you know what I mean? There's plenty of other places. Never be disheartened. All right, folks. I'll give you. I'll give you another hour here, because like I say, I've got to go and see another lad called Mark. Who's, uh, who wants to go out with his detector, he's been at it a while I think and he's quite good with his detector as well so but we're going to go back on the hammered field I think that's uh, yeah, give him a shot on there, let's see if he can find any I'm not too uh, fussed at the moment because I've already got my share like I say, Tony's, Tony Hunt his sayings, brilliant like I say, I've got it in TTF, two torn ferrous so you pick out the good signals from the bionic, it gives two, two tones now, two, two uh, signals in your headphones that you have to listen for. Don't know, I'm not, I like it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not keen on it. I prefer all that, like, blasting in my ears. I like to know what everything that's in the ground, do you know what I mean? And I've uh, really got to grips with that multi-tone now, I think. I'm, you know, it's finding me a lot of things, is this machine? I, I really do like it. But then again, I love the Gold Max as well, so I'm easily pleased, aren't I? Okay, folks, bye for now. See you later. Well, folks, a little bit of joy. There's the gate. I come back for my uh, detector. Uh, not detector, I come back for my dead cat because it's windy as hell. Got a cracking signal, and I don't know whether you can see the imprint of it in there. See that? See that imprint? Don't know whether you can make that out or not. But there's the beastie. A little bit of silver. A little bit of silver for the Dave. Let's get it focused. Come on. All excited guys. There we go. Can we see that yet? There we go. Have to bring it in a little bit more. Yeah, there she is, folks. Uh, George V. And what is it? Two shillings? But look at that. I love it. It's a florin. 1933 florin. Right by the gate. See that? Imprint still there, look. Beautiful. In fact, I'll probably take that out. Look at that. See that imprint? Huh, it's like a mold for the coin, isn't it? Well, there you are. There we go. Sports field. I knew there'd be one on here somewhere. Knew it. Just bloody knew it. There we go, there's probably more. So, I'm going to have a little uh, investigate around this area now. I reckon when they were running off the hills, they came through that gate and the finishing line would have been up there somewhere. So, people would have been stood along here using me noggin like so if I go up and down here there could be more of them lovely jubbly okay folks back with some more I hope right folks quite a high pitched one this one uh, numbers are all over the place not that I usually look at numbers but I thought I'd uh, you know I used like every now and again I have a glance and if it's a solid number I'll dig it but I've, I quite like the few ones in this field and I've got a bit of a coin ball here a bit of a ball anyway so I thought I'd dig it and see what it is because it was like a really nice signal it could be anything on it oh it could be not oh there we go right now the numbers are all over the place on that numbers are all over the spot don't know why there's no coke or iron or anything in that hole but it's uh, half penny ship and it'll probably be George some that come up our George there we go there's another one anyway but it was a really nice a really nice uh, sharp signal that one there you go there's another one and 
I've got some other bits and bobs and all up here. First of all, all out the same, all these by the way. Let me just get them for you. Oh, right, let me find it. Right, first of all, I got, so let me have a look. First of all, we've got the key, then the chain, then where's the weird thing at? There it is. Right. Right, folks, here we go. Right, first of all, I've got a really nice signal, and I dug that. Right, a key. You pretty do. Went over the hole and found that bit of chain. Right, okay, it's not gold, but it's a fine chain. And then after I got that out, I went over the hole and I found what needs to be cleaned up, but looks like some sort of badge with someone on it. Don't know whether you can see that. How's that look? Not a clue what it is. Not a clue again. Looks like a bloke with a gun, maybe. Don't know. We'll have to uh, have a better look later on. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh, it's a medallion. Now, has he got a cricket bat? Is that a cricket bat? I must have been looking at the back. What do you think of that then? There you go, Sportsfield. Is it a cricket bat? Not a clue. Not a clue, but we'll find out when we clean it up. Okay, folks. Yeah, no field has ever done, is it? Right, I'm gonna have to make a move now because my mate will be wondering if I'm going or not. So I'll have to give him a text and let him know that I'll uh, give him a bash on the hammered field. Although I would like to stay here, I must admit. Yeah, I'm quite liking this field, but I'll be here again. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, that. Jeez, I don't know what it is. Right, we'll clean it up there and we'll have a look, eh? Maybe a bit, I do might have been on that chain. Anyway, okay folks, catch you later.